Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video for UK scrap addicts. This month we're focusing on male layouts or masculine layouts. And for this, I am just going for an autumnal theme. I do sometimes do my layouts that include very boyish themes like cars and little things like for little boys. But quite often I just use whatever I fancy and if it's got flowers on it, it's got flowers on it. I don't really mind. So I don't really feel like I have to use only boyish papers for my boy layouts so today as you can see i'm using lots and lots of leaves i visited a workshop at the weekend which was wonderful it was run by crafty vixens which share uh, are a duo that do um crafty workshops and i will of course link um their details below if you want to go and check that out it was a wonderful afternoon I really enjoyed it and learned a few new techniques. So as soon as I'd made the layout mm -hmm. and saw um, how it had turned out, I really wanted to recreate something similar using a few of the techniques, but in with a black background, which you'll see today, which is what I'm doing. So first off, I've taken lots and lots of leaves. I've taken three distress inks, the oxide type ones. And as you saw, I've just added a bit of water and just smushed them into each leaf. And then as a final touch, I'm just making sure that there's no white left. Not that it really mattered if there was, to be honest, but I decided just to make sure that they were all coated. So there's like a bit of variety there. And another thing, which I have done this sort of thing before, but this I haven't done, um, is ruffling up the leaves whilst not while they're soaking but while they're damp which is what we did at the weekend which I love doing because it just creates loads of uh, texture and the leaves just sit so much better on a layout if they're all ruffled up and they don't look so um, controlled or placed so that's what I'm just doing here and the cardstock's just a little bit damp so I'm just ruffling up each one and then as you can see I'm just putting them to one side um, until they're thoroughly dry so I can put them on my layout. So whilst those dry I'm bringing in my cardstock and I'm going to add some texture paste leaves. Now these end up being completely covered up but you can see them peeking through from the background so um, not completely wasted doing this. Um, I don't tend to do very perfect kind of texture paste adding anyway it's just for a little bit of extra interest added texture of course texture paste just um just on the part of the layout that i'm going to add most of my embellishing now i use some white ink and just splash it over the edges i find that this sort of helps to blend out the texture paste if you've not if you don't want it to look perfect and you do want it just to be quite loose and that works quite well and now I'm just going to add some papers these are Echo Park papers these came with um, the little kit that we got and of course there was some lovely leftovers so I'm just using that up there with probably my final um, autumnal one off the year and I'm also going to do some fussy cutting because we have this lovely paper as you can see I fussy cut well I didn't do my fussy cutting to be honest I'm not very good at fussy cutting but I was determined to do it anyway practice makes perfect right <laughs> so I've fussy cut a few cute creatures there and now I'm just going to distress as always as I always do distress the edges off my papers and my photo I sometimes do the photo as well sometimes I just do my papers but as a rule, I tend to distress the edges of things. I just like the way it looks. And then I'm just going to layer them up. I won't be layering them up in a neat rectangle. I'll add a little bit of a slant to them as well, just to add to the more natural look rather than neat kind of thing. And as you can see, all that is is just some um, cheap foam. And I'm just sticking that between each layer just to add a little bit of height to my photo. And so I'm making sure I leave gaps between um, each layer so that I can put in embellishments around the edges if I want to. I don't think I do this time, but there is room 
two tuck-in embellishments if you want to. I might probably do a couple. I'm not sure. Can't remember. <laughs> I've only just done this as well. Must be baby brain. <laughs> right, so now I'm just sticking that down. I'm happy with the placement, so now I can add my foliage. So I'm using some um, heavy body gel. It's by Prima Marketing. I got mine from Thompson's Craft Supplies. I will link that shop below in case you do want to get a hold of this as well. It's thicker than a uh, normal gel that I usually use. And I wanted to use this because I wanted to add some height to some of the foliage some of the leaves and others I just wanted to glue flat so these to start with I'm just gluing small parts of the longer stemmed leaves now I'm adding a large chunk in the middle of these leaves so that they sit on top and the gel will dry and adhere um, but the leaves won't sink into the paper they'll stay sort of sticking up a little bit and it's just quite handy to use it dries clear so you can't really see it anywhere so I've cut out some of this I've basically shown you that I just add add them going down in size so first off I add the stems and the larger leaves and going down in size so that I can fill in all the little gaps with the small leaves and then I'm having a couple of these leaves just floating off in different directions away from the general cluster and then I will add some other bits and bobs around these afterwards so that is it so far lots of dimension there you can see why i wanted to recreate this one with all them lovely leaves so now i'm working on an embellishment cluster i want to add um something in that corner to balance the fact that i've put the whole thing down in one corner just want to add a little bit of balance with something at the top and i'm also going to add some tags but I don't end up using more I only end up using two and trimming them off at the top as you will see and then I just add some twine I think I do that off camera as well so as you can see there I've added my twine I'm thinking about putting embellishments up there but I'm not sure yet and I'm just going to glue these down um, in place here and then flip over my page to trim off the excess paper as you'll see now and then I have to decide where to put all these cute little characters, which I'm pretty sure, oh, I've done it. <laughs> they're, they're not glued down yet. It's just so I can see where I want to put them. So I'm adding some more twine for balance at the bottom here. I'm just going to add that in there. So now that I'm happy with where things are going to go, I'm gluing down my twine first and then building up that embellishment cluster over the top of the twine. I decide not to put that up in that top corner and um, I'm adding some of these tiny words which also came in the little crafty um, fixings kit. So I'm adding a few of the words around in amongst the leaves as well as some of these cute little critters as well and um, just gluing them down with my Nouveau drops this time because I don't need to add any dimension I just need them to grab onto whatever's underneath them so that they stay put so it's a nice strong glue there and then I just use that leaf just to frame the edge of that photo so I finally add some embellishments which I got I think uh, these are November or October mind the scrap I get the embellishment and the mixed media um, kit so I will link that shop as well and these I think are the ones that are this month's um, I also get my black cardstock from there, which I always use in case you're wondering where I get that from. I love this stuff. I always buy it every month and go through it every month. And finally, I want to add some sequins. So these ones are by Spiegel or Spiegelmom scraps. I don't know if you can really get them in the UK that easily, to be honest. But I got mine as part of um, a Thompson's craft kit, I think. So I'm just going to dot down the glue. I don't make you watch me do every single sequin. I dot down the glue on the back of the um, on the black page and then I dot over glue over the top of my leaves and add them in amongst the leaves as well. So there's a general shimmer. They're quite subtle because they're on black and they're darker colours. If these were on white, they'd probably stand out a lot better. 
but I just wanted a bit of a subtle shimmer going on all across there. And then I'm just blocking off a little bit of my page because I don't want my entire page to have splatters on it. And then going through with three colours, um, two Lindy's and one um, Distress, I think it is, um, in nice autumnal shades and just splashing that over the top. They've all got a nice shimmer to them. And I use that um, pinky one because when it's on um, black cardstock, it's more of a very, very pale pink with a shimmer. So it did work quite well with um, the parts of the leaves that were very pale as well. So that's why I chose that one. And then I just add a little bit around the tags, being careful not to go overboard and end up losing that little bit of black that I have left over. And that is me done. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to check out what everyone else is doing this month over in the Facebook group and on the YouTube channel. If you've watched this on uh, UK Scrap Addicts, you can find my personal YouTube channel where I have lots of other crafty videos below in the description as well. And I'll leave all the details there too. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.